Eight million tonnes of old plastic is swirling around in the seas, according to divers in Cornwall who are trying to remove at least some of it. They're concerned about marine life, saying 100,000 sea creatures and a million birds are in danger, as Emma Reminsky reports. A litter pick with a difference. The organisation Dive Against Debris estimates 70% of plastic rubbish that enters the sea sinks. So a group of southwest divers joined forces to do an underwater beach clean at Langsalos Beach. I, I set it up it was just purely because there's a need for it. Um, I came down here with my wife, Rachel. Uh, we had a snorkel. Absolutely stunning spot. Really, really beautiful snorkel. Half of the beach is completely littered with debris. Absolutely thousands and thousands of anything from tiny little bits, which are really dangerous because they're the ones that get ingested, to large bits of pot and net. The beach also gets a clean to help preserve local wildlife. So marine pollutants do have a big impact on the what's it, marine ecosystem, which the beach is an important part of. And so, yeah, helping to keep them clean and remove plastics in particular, they're very hazardous to uh, animals and seabirds. As well as taking rubbish out of the ocean, they're putting marine life back what in. The divers are working with the National Lobster Hatchery, helping them release 550 juvenile crustaceans into this bay. The, the population is nowhere near what it used to be, and we've seen in other areas of the world, in you know, Scandinavia and the Mediterranean and other places that harvest lobsters uh, like we do have had uh, big problems with their populations, and, you know, in, in, in some areas they've become extinct and not recovered. All the rubbish from the underwater survey is weighed and catalogued. The volunteers recycle what they can and submit the figures to international campaigners trying to keep the sea free from litter. Emma Minsky, BBC Spotlight, Langsalos Beach, near Polperro. More stories making the headlines here tonight. An all-new dentist leaving Plymouth University have found jobs despite finishing their studies in June. Many of them have stayed in the southwest. Undergraduates treat NHS patients under supervision in specially designed labs. The Tamar Ferry between Plymouth and Torpoint is operating a reduced service this weekend. Chains fitted to the boats have to be replaced every three years or so. The work can only be carried out in the right conditions. It's hot, it's early August, so that means it's the start of the new football season, of course. Day one today, here are the results. And in League Two, Plymouth Argyle won 2-0 at AFC Wimbledon. At St James Park, it was Exeter City 3. Not such good news for Yeovil Town. Uh, they finished 2. And in the newly named National League Premier Division, Torquay United beat Macclesfield Town 1-0. Things couldn't have been more different for the board master.